In this short recording, we're going to take a look at a custom claims provider that can fetch attribute information and map to claims in uh, oh, from uh, Salesforce. So we got our security server here. Um, this claims provider is already deployed in the, on the token service here. We have uh, under scopes, we have claims providers. And so here we can see that we have a Salesforce claims provider. We click edit here. We can look at the configuration for this where, uh, first of all, it's using an HTTP client to talk to Salesforce, communicate with Salesforce. Um, we need to leverage um, a key in uh, the signing key store to sign a jot that's sent to Salesforce in order to request an access token so we can communicate with the uh, Salesforce REST API. Within a configuration in Salesforce, we also um, can get the consumer key. So we have to configure what's called a connected app in Salesforce, where we also upload the certificate that corresponds to this private signing key here. Um, once that is done, the uh, connected app will generate this consumer key. So this can be fetched from, from Salesforce. Um, and then comes a couple of configurations. The data path is essentially the, the path uh, for the REST API where we're retrieving user data from. The host defaults to login.salesforce.com, but if you have a custom domain, uh, we need to configure the host. The principle is the user that has permissions to invoke the API or to call the API and query the API for data in Salesforce. So this could be preferably be some kind of service user. And the query is the actual query used to, to um, retrieve data. And I'm actually going to change this because I want some different data. We're going to get information from um, a contact object, but I am going to get the, no, we'll, we'll get the title in the department. And I'm going to uh, use the email from my authentication as the key to, to get this. So for now, this configuration would simply add the email from the authentication at the end to this query. The token endpoint here is the Salesforce token endpoint that's combined with this host that we send this signed jot to to retrieve an access token so that we can then uh, query the, the data the data API. So if we look at this um, further, we now have this claims provider and we're getting the department and title through that. So I have created two claims in here, one called department, where it's configured to use the Salesforce claims provider. And then I do a mapping here uh, where I pick out the value for department and map it to the department SF claim. Similarly, uh, for the title here, uh, I do the same thing. It's essentially picking out the, the title from the payload that comes back. It's uh, it's a, an entry called records in a JSON response. Those two claims are in its turn mapped to a scope that I have that's called Salesforce. Um, you can see that, that both the department and the title claims are uh, mapped to this scope. If we now use OAuth tools, um, use any, uh, not almost any uh, flow that you want to use. I'm going to use the code flow here, but that's sort of irrelevant. The, um, the thing that I'm doing here is I am requesting the Salesforce scope. Um, so if we start this flow, I'm prompted to log in with a user. Um, this is a user that I also have in Salesforce as a contact. So if we log in with this user here, I get 
uh, successful authentication and then I get my ID token and I am in fact getting the department SF scope and uh, claim and the title SF claim. And we can see here that the values corresponds to uh, the department is facilities and the title of John Bond is VP of facilities. If we now go into Salesforce and look at the entry, the contacts entry for John Bond, as we can see in here, we can in fact see that his title is VP facilities, his department is facilities. So now we could change this so that he is the VP of sales and department is sales, for example. If we save that now in Salesforce, we can rerun our flow here, authenticate again. If we now look at these two, we can see that we have now um, different values for these two claims. So as we go through, um, the uh, Salesforce claims provider is reaching out and querying the Salesforce REST API to get these values from the contact record. Now it's fully possible to get information from other objects within Salesforce as well. So this is an example how to do it with the with the contacts, but within this claims provider, you, we could have some different kind of query here that doesn't necessarily query the contact um, object. And we can get other types of fields and other data out of the uh, REST API as well. Right, this concludes this uh, short demo.